Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to demonstrate design and simulation of three-phase half-wave control rectifier in PSIM. In case you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it so that you will be getting the videos that we post regularly. Alright, let's get started. This is a circuit diagram of three-phase half-wave control rectifier. It basically employs three thyristors instead of diodes. As a result, it is called as a control rectifier. How do we start off with the design procedure? In case you are doing this experiment in your laboratory, please do ask what what is the nature of load and what is its value what should be the firing angle so based on that we will be assuming the parameters for the design so our first step is to determine the average value of output voltage so we'll be uh, finding it out we uh, the value of average voltage by 3 vm cos alpha by pi you'll be getting 77.65 volt per phase you have to multiply it by 3 in order to get the overall output voltage with respect to three phases so step two is to determine the RMS value of output voltage. We'll be substituting for the value of uh, BRMS formula and you'll be getting 252.62 volt. So once we uh, find the value of average and RMS value, we can consequently find the currents as well by dividing it by R. So uh, once we know the exact values of average and RMS value of output voltage that we need to get, let's go to uh, PCM and start our simulation and cross verify our output wave. Here we are in PCM. So we have that ability to uh, drag and drop the components over here based on the toolbox that we have in case you don't find this go to elements and add the blocks that you want accordingly at the first place uh, we will be requiring three sinusoidal sources so add this block in this particular fashion we need uh, three thyristors so connect them in this particular fashion we'll be shorting uh, the cathode terminals of the thyristors we'll be requiring a resistor load rotate it in this particular direction and place it accordingly i'll be connecting it to this point we we need to connect uh, the switches uh, with the sources in this particular fashion and uh, once that is done we'll be uh, connecting all the sources together in this particular fashion and i'll be giving it to the resistive load uh, in case uh, we want a ground to be connected we can use that so at some cases you won't get the output if you don't use a ground but not every time so it totally depends on how the code is written in the back end in psim so once that is done we will be requiring a gating block so a couple of them again uh, once this is done uh, we will be uh, connecting it to the gate terminals and then I'll be entering the values with respect to all these parameters at the first place double click on this so we have to be very careful while entering this value because the vast is the peak amplitude so 230 into root 2 is basically 325.26 this is the peak value that we have to enter 325.26 and the frequency is 50 Hertz let the phase angle be equal to 0 for the first one second one again enter 325.26 once we enter that we have to change the phase angle uh, i'll be entering minus 120 degree because it lags behind phase a by minus 120 degree again enter uh, 325.26 and uh, the phase angle is minus 240 so it is minus 240 phase shifted with respect to phase a and minus 120 degree with respect to phase b once this is done double click on this first and foremost and important thing is change the frequency to our supply frequency 50 hertz if you're using 5000 hertz it will behave like a diode rectifier it will not have control and there is no purpose of it there will be no synchronism with respect to our supply a lot of students make mistakes over here so be very careful over here so once this is done our firing angle uh, is 60 degrees so 60 to 180 degree is what we are supposed to get over here once this is done double click on this change the frequency to again 50 hertz over here the phase delay is 120 degree for b with respect to a 120 plus 60 degree is the firing angle so it should be 180 and the overall cycle will uh, conclude to 360 degree in this case so enter 360 and click on close window double click on this again change the frequency to 50 hertz and over here the phase delay is 240 240 plus 60 degree alpha that is 300 300 to 360 so be very careful this is the most important concept how to trigger them in uh, psim so it's quite different from other tools like matlab so be very careful while entering the switching points so once this is done click on close let me choose a resistive load of 10 ohm and so once this is done, we'll be adding a voltage sensor at the output in order to check the output uh, voltage waveform. So connect it in this particular fashion. So we have entered all the parameters with respect to our circuit. One of the most important thing is the simulation control. So the name itself indicates that it will have the control of the total uh, runtime of the simulation and time step that needs to be achieved with respect to the circuit. Let me enter it to be equal to 0.1. Close the window and click on run simulation. 
now it does take some time over here we are, have only one voltage that we have to see and we are getting the exact output voltage waveform that we need to get so we can zoom in the waveform in case you would like to uh, in this particular fashion and uh, we can check the rms value and average value over here so if you see uh, the average value is 233.22 which is approximately what we have to get the rms value is 252.82 so be very careful the measurement should be done carefully and uh, based on that if you move this cursor over here it keeps changing so be very very careful while measuring that so we are getting the exact waveform and the rms and average value of output voltages is, is matching with respect to our circuit in case you would like to do it for currents as well connect an ammeter probe in series with the circuit and determine the current i hope you were able to simulate three phase half wave control rectifier in psim if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting thank you